In Rwanda, nobody needs to be reminded about how precious life is. It's barely 20 years since the country's genocide, but families are doing better than ever. Children are now three times more likely to survive past the age of five, and more than 90% complete primary education. Mm -hmm. Math, English, and <laughs> For this family, that's in part because they live in the Millennium Village. It's developed around the ideals of the Millennium Development Goals, and it has the funding to match. The father of this household used to rely on cows and crops for income. He now also runs a local mobile banking business. Before the Millennium, our living conditions were very poor and undignified but then we got trained in how to improve our lives and taught about income generation. I applied the lessons to my family. I know now that we have a better life. I can sustain my family's needs. I may even be a donor to help somebody else. But for the young people of Africa, life is not just about survival. It's estimated that the Millennium Development Goals have helped keep an extra 17 million children alive. But in sub-Saharan Africa, more than 40% of people live on less than one and a quarter dollars per day. So if the legacy of the old goals was to help save children, then the new ones must give them a better future. World leaders have now agreed to 17 new goals with a focus on sustainable development. And it's places like this craft center that they hope will help. Carpenters now have a place to make products. And unemployed women are taught to weave. <laughs> Global Aid is banged together with local skill to create products for the market. It's made a great impact on our lives. There are 300 people in this center. They work and get money and that money goes to their families. So 300 families are living on this. But people can also buy products which are made much closer to them and are therefore cheaper. The new cassava plant around the corner shows how much the village of Mayenje has changed. But Rwanda, like many African countries, failed to meet all the goals. The new ones are even more ambitious. They call for improvements to human rights and the rule of law and more help for the world's poorest. Already in Mayenje, people are part of that production line, turning poverty into business. But the real challenge is to make the story of this village become that of a continent.